Hello, this is Mr. McEwen, and I'm going to be <clears throat> showing you Fusion 360, uh, some of the basics on how you can make a successful product using the tools. All right, and I'm going to demonstrate using making a cell phone stand. <clears throat> Here's one I've already completed, and I'm going to use it to show you some of the most important features uh, as you go through the process of building in Fusion 360. The first one is called the browser. It's over here. Um, it is very important because it shows you all your origins, all your bodies, all the sketches you're creating, and all the construction planes. There are other things that will show over here, but these are the most important. So you can see here, I can turn my origins on and off. I will be using these um, to set different uh, sketches on. Um, sometimes you want to just get it out of the way so you can see it without it. Then you have the bodies. And you can see I have renamed them so that they are, they name the actual body that um, I'm highlighting. So here's the base, which is actually several com um, part bodies that have been combined together. And here is the back. Uh, if I ever want to click on it, I can instantly hi um, highlight that and, and, and work with it. If I wanted to, let's say, move it, I would be able to just move that around. Okay, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit cancel. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, sketches. I have the sketches on, but I have the sketches turned off. Here's the base that I used to create the base. Let me see. Let's turn the bodies off. Here's the base sketch, which is just a simple set of rectangles and some fillets to get the shape of the base I wanted. Here's the bracket that goes across. Here is the uh, back. And then I created another sketch to make the lip. So I bring that back up. Um, the other one is construction planes. These are planes other than the origin that you might want to sketch on. So I wanted this angle, so I created a plane at an angle to make this back part. Um, I used two of them to create uh, some cuts. Right? So I can, you can turn those on and off, or you can turn them on and off individually. So uh, the big thing you need to remember about the browser is that Everything you create, whether it's a body, a sketch, or a construction plane, will remain over here. Um, and you can click on it to highlight that. And if you hold shift, you can highlight multiple pieces, OK? You also can control click, which is the double click, and it will bring up a menu, which gives you lots of the um, options that you can do, delete, copy, uh, change the physical material, change the appearance, move it, etc. Okay, so that is the browser. Turn off my origin. Um, down below you have the timeline, which actually shows the entire process. If you push play, it can go through the process of me creating these pieces. You can roll it to, you can what they call rolling it to anyone, and you can see the process along the way. This is great for your plan because it shows you how you created the uh, your product. Um, you can talk over it like I am doing, or you can create a screencast of you actually creating. But this is very powerful, and I'll show you one reason why. This is the sketch. Let's see. So this is the sketch and the extrude for uh, the base. Let's just say I go in here and I say I control click, I don't want to edit this sketch. All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it really a lot bigger. So I'm just moving some of the sketch parts. I can click D for dimensions if I want. Um, and I can click on any line and I can actually just type this is one millimeter and make it two. If I stop the sketch, everything that I've done to that sketch, whether it's extrude using it, will um, be done again. So if I create it, you see it automatically extruded it with that size, the entire product all the way to the end will be a result of those changes. Okay. So you can actually go back to places where you're like, uh, and add things into them or change them and it will uh, change it along the entire timeline. So let's just end it. 
So I'm going to back that up because I don't want to actually change that. Control Z, Command Z works really well to back up. Right? You want this to be as tidy as, as um, and as neat as possible. So if you start seeing yellow um, exclamation points or red exclamation points, it means you've made changes to the timeline that it doesn't know what to do with the parts later on in the timeline. And you can correct those uh, by watching for those errors. All right, so let's get started.